As we get closer and closer to the general election, of course, there are a lot of eyes on Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And that makes sense. There is a lot at stake, whether it be policy-based or just democracy in general. But there are also a lot of other races at play that day. And what specifically I'm talking about today will affect 10 million Americans. Because what we're looking at right now is North Carolina, who not only will be voting in one of the most consequential presidential elections of a lifetime, but also one of the most consequential gubernatorial elections as well. Because on Super Tuesday, North Carolina Republican voters selected current Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson as their nominee to lead the state. And that name might sound familiar because you might have seen some clips of him online in the aftermath of the primary. But beyond just these random clips, I think it's important that we do a deep dive, that we look into this man who it turns out is insanely dangerous and the beliefs he holds are absolutely fucking crazy. And with that, I mean, it's hard to even decide where to begin with this guy because there's so much. But you know, let's start with the anti-Semitism because that has gotten the most attention. And that's also probably in part because his Democratic opponent is North Carolina's current Attorney General, Josh Stein, who actually, when he won that seat in 2016, became the first Jewish person to win statewide office in North Carolina and would be the state's first Jewish governor if he wins the election. Right? And a lot of Robinson's anti-Semitism was perfectly summed up in this ad by his Republican opponent for governor during the primary campaign. Mark Robinson, he suggested the Holocaust wasn't real, downplayed the Nazis, promoted Hitler propaganda. That's just plain wrong. I'm Bill Graham. The Holocaust was real. Hitler was evil. Right, and those are things that Robinson said in Facebook posts that are still up and available to the public, with the bulk of these posts coming to light this past summer largely thanks to the work of Jewish Insider. And while his past posts degrading various groups and spreading conspiracies has been dredged up before, these newer finds also got a ton of attention, especially this one from 2018 where Robinson wrote, this foolishness about Hitler disarming millions of Jews and then marching them off to concentration camps is a bunch of hogwash. With the outlet also finding numerous posts over the years downplaying Nazism and complaining about the fact that we still talk about Nazism today, arguing instead we should be focusing on the threats posed by communism, and writing in one post so sick of seeing and hearing people still talk about Nazis and Hitler. But also beyond that, Robinson has spread anti-Semitic conspiracies, stereotypes, and Yiddish slurs. Like this 2018 post where he implied Black Panther was an evil Jewish scheme, claiming that the movie was created by an agnostic Jew and a satanic Marxist to take money from black people, though notably instead of money he said shekels, and instead of black people he used an offensive Yiddish slur. But that same slur also used in a post where he made similar claims about how Hollywood media is controlled by Jews. And he echoed that in another post where he cast doubt on the fact that six million Jews were murdered during the Holocaust. And in 2019, he went on a podcast hosted by an alleged cult leader and endorsed the host's belief that Jewish bankers are one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, along with Muslims, China, and the CIA. Right, and for months, Robinson refused to apologize, but then shortly after the Israel war began in October, he finally responded, though, by downplaying his remarks while also literally declaring a week in solidarity with Israel. And he still refused to apologize, even when he was explicitly asked by reporters. We've already dealt with those things, moved past them, and uh, we're ready to move on to uh, to the new topics that are here today. When you say you've dealt with them, to be clear, do you apologize for writing what you wrote? I apologize for the wording, not necessarily for the content, but we apologize for the wording. Right, and so it's not surprising that just days later, Jewish Insider published even more anti-Semitic Facebook posts from Robinson, including one from 2014 where he literally quoted Hitler, and another from 2017 where he argued that it would be better for humanity to go back in time and kill baby communists than baby Hitler. Also, I gotta know, this is not all his anti-Semitic remarks. Like, that would take up its own show. And instead, I wanna make sure that we hit all his other comments, because they span a ton of different demographics that will also be directly impacted if Robinson Robinson wins, starting with the black community, which makes up one in every five North Carolinians. Right, this guy, who would be the first black governor of North Carolina if he wins, has repeatedly said he does not view himself as a member of the black community, writing, why would I want to be part of a, quote, community that devalues its fathers, overburdens its mothers, and murders its children by the millions? Why would I want to be part of a, quote, community that sucks from the putrid tit of the government and then complains about getting sour milk? He's also made other posts and remarks echoing that sentiment, accusing the black community of creating the problems that they face. And this, while also promoting white pride and downplay playing white privilege and white nationalism. Though again, th this is just the tip of the iceberg. He's also called black people monkeys and apes and a bunch of other shit I'm not gonna even try to repeat on this show. Also for a guy that is tired of people talking about Hitler, he likes to compare people to Hitler, right? comparing Al Sharpton to Hitler, also making some time to degrade major black leaders, saying the 1960s civil rights movement was crap, that MLK Jr. is a communist. He's also repeatedly referenced slavery to make his claim, comparing prominent black leaders and artists to house slaves who kept the masses of slaves compliant and in control, right? calling black Democrats slaves who don't know or care who their masters are. And again, like there's just some super crazy stuff, like saying that the descendants of black slaves are the ones who should be paying reparations to white people. Or Robinson joking that Black History Month is held during the shortest month of the year because it is, quote, a history of people who have achieved so little. And again, I could go on and on here, but that would be a whole 
video. So I'm gonna try and get a bunch of links for you in the description down below. Because again, he's firing at a lot of different groups. Right? According to posts viewed by Talking Points Memo, he's also mocked Asians, Muslims, Mexicans, Haitians. And then of course there are his comments about the LGBTQ plus community and women. Right? In 2014, he said that homosexuality would lead to pedophilia and quote, the end of civilization as we know it. Also in 2021, he said in a sermon that gay people are inferior to straight people and that gay people are equivalent to cow shit, maggots, and flies. He also made multiple comments back in February disparaging trans people, saying at one event that trans women should be arrested for using the lady room, then going even further at another event and saying trans people should just find a corner outside somewhere. And then also in a shocking turn of events, his views on women are no more progressive. Right? And shortly after he won his primary, we saw this clip from 2020 going viral. I absolutely want to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. Do you know why? Because in those days, we had people who fought for real social change, and they were called Republicans. Beyond that, he's repeatedly said that a woman's place is the home and condemned feminists and feminism, which he claims were created by Satan. Saying at one point that feminists are just as bad, if not worse, than racists. He's also just said some absolutely despicable shit about women in politics and media. Like, there is a running list that I'm gonna link down below. Because again, I'm trying to condense all this. There is more. We haven't even touched the conspiracy shit. And like with a lot of this, he's not hiding it. He is proud. Saying during a speech last year, I'm gonna tell you right now, conspiracy theory are 42 and 0. We're undefeated right now, folks. Right? In addition to the anti-Semitic conspiracies we've already touched on, which seems like a lifetime ago, Robinson has also promoted some of the timeless classics, like saying he wouldn't be surprised if the moon landing was faked and that 9-11 was an inside job. But then also you got your lesser knowns, but still honorable mentions like the music industry is being run by Satan and the Illuminati. Also saying the Boko Haram schoolgirl kidnapping in Nigeria was orchestrated by George Soros. He also pushes the New World Order stuff a lot. Also with that, claiming that shows like American Idol and Chopped, that those are signs of the New World Order because they have a judgment format, I guess. But that dovetails into the final deepest level of crazy, which is the really dangerous shit and active inciting of violence. Like Robinson's claims that media coverage of mass shootings is part of the conspiracy to bring about the new world order, or his implication that the 2017 Las Vegas mass shooting that killed 50 people may have been fake, or his false accusations that Parkland shooting survivor David Hogg was just a paid actor. I'm also going even further and calling Parkland survivors spoiled, angry, know-it-all children, spoiled little bastards and media prostitutes. And his rhetoric here also directly veered towards violence, like just the Kent State Massacre. We're saying that the pipe bombs sent to Obama and Clinton, but intercepted by law enforcement in 2018 were fake and manufactured, but also writing, if you can't beat them, bomb yourself. And again, we're just touching on his personal views and stuff that he said. We haven't even talked about his policy views. Climate change, he says it's junk science. Abortion, he says it should be totally banned. And this guy has a legitimate shot of becoming North Carolina's governor. Right, yeah, North Carolina currently has a Democrat governor, but their legislature is red and Republican presidential candidates have won the state in the last three elections. And also more importantly, Robinson still won the GOP primary even though a lot of this information was literally already out about it. But for now, we'll have to wait and see how things are going to play out.